YouTube, it's AJ Carver here. Listen, be loyal to yourself. That's the topic of this video. Don't spend so much time helping others out before you help yourself out. Putting yourself first may be a little selfish, which it is a little bit, but I'm telling you from experience, I just turned 30 years old. And one of the toughest lessons that I've learned just in the past five years after graduating college is putting yourself first and being loyal to yourself. If you are a person that people go to as a resource, whether it's in the workplace, as a friend, colleague, romantic partner, whatever the case may be, you are a resource for music. You are a resource for social media. You are a resource for business, finances, whatever your passions are that people know you love helping others out. Create boundaries because I'll tell you this. You are one of those people that see as a resource. And it's for three reasons. One, you are trustworthy. They can trust you with the information that they're going to tell you. They can trust you and your experience to help them get through an obstacle. And, And that leads to, so one, you're trustworthy. Two, you listen You're an active listener. You don't just make them feel like an idiot by questioning them right off the bat about why they're doing something. Instead, you ask questions to help understand the situation and scenario to help them get out of it, which is three, you're a problem solver. You're a natural problem solver. If people go to you as a resource to help them get through certain situations, you are a natural problem solver. Especially if it's about information that maybe you don't have a passion for. Or maybe you're not known as as a resource for that information. But they still come to you. They're like, hey, this is going on in my life. Can you help me with this? And they value your experience. And more so, they value your problem solving. Now, that's great. You help other people. I've helped many other people in many different things. Before I even had experience in certain things, I helped people get through, and I do to this day through certain situations. But you must, you must set proper boundaries when it comes to these things. Because being loyal to yourself is... Really the same thing as self-love, um, preservation, and, and investing in yourself. And it really comes down to one simple thing. If you're always there for other people, you're going to use all your resources, your time, energy, and sometimes money to help others before you help yourself. And when it's time to help yourself, you don't have the time, energy, and money. So you need to set proper boundaries. And this is in anything. This is in romantic relationships. This is in friendships. This is in family ships, work relationships, business relationships, everything. It's great being a person that someone can trust and go to, but you need to set the right boundaries whether it's charging for your time, whether it's charging for your energy, whatever the case may be. And I understand, oh, I can't do that with friends. Yes, you're not going to charge a friend to help them get through stuff. But what you can do is set proper boundaries. That way boundaries aren't crossed and you're not always there for them. You're not always available. That's that's. That's one of the issues I had was I I always made myself available to others regardless of the time. 
It could be five o'clock dinner, six o'clock dinner. Sometimes, hell, it was three o'clock in the morning. People calling me, waking me up, asking me for advice. And that was a mistake I made because people got used to that. And one thing I realized, I'm, I'm going to say this real up close. One thing I realized was I was always there for others at certain times. Two in the morning, late at night, maybe at dinner. You know, I was having dinner with an ex or by myself or with a friend and I answered a call. But when I needed something and I wanted something, I needed an answer. I don't get the call or even worse, I get declined right away and then get a text. Sorry, I'm at dinner. What? That's when I learned a lot of stuff about a lot of people. And I've tested it out many times. And you should do that too. You need to be loyal to yourself. Respect yourself in a way that you're a business. Okay? Time, energy, money. Time, energy, money. If your time, energy, and money is depleted before you can help yourself, you need to reprioritize things. And it's going to change. Every quarter, every month, it all depends. Some months, yeah, I'm going to help other people out more than I help myself. But I communicate it appropriately. I communicate it in a way and manner that shows, hey, AJ, that's a busy man. So if I reach out to him, I need to make sure I'm on my shit and I execute and what we talk about, and if he needs something, I know I, I need to pick up right away and help him out with it. So be loyal to yourself. You're in a relationship, be loyal to yourself. Put yourself first before you put others. This, if we're talking about relationships here, you can't love someone else unless you love yourself. And a lot of people, I'll make a separate video on this. A lot of people are great at loving <laughs> and are great at helping other people out and their partners out. It doesn't come back to them in the same way. So yes, be loyal to yourself. Trust, trust, trust me. I'm telling you, at just turning 30, one of the toughest lessons I've learned in the past five years since graduating college, so past seven years, is putting myself first. Be loyal to yourself. Do yourself a favor. Be loyal to yourself. Doesn't matter what age you are, if you're young, teenager, in your 20s, in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Doesn't matter. Be loyal to yourself. Now, don't take that out of proportion. I'm not telling you to be selfish. You need to give before you get. But if you find yourself giving more and more and more, and it's a problem when you try to get, then that's when you need to make a change. It's AJ here, and until the next video, we out.